Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. I want to make a toast. I already started drinking some of the coffee before recording. I couldn't help myself, but I want to make a toast to you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. And you know the weather out here in South Florida is starting to cool down. So I'm going to show you the snakes I plan to cool and bromate this year and breed. I'm going to start bromating them November 25th on Thanksgiving Day. So I'm gonna waste. I'm gonna weigh some of them. Show you the weights. Talk about a good size to start off a corn or king snake for breeding. And I'm gonna show you the babies that hatched out two months ago. Give you an update while drinking my favorite drink. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and we're gonna have fun today. These are the babies that I hatched out and tomorrow will make it exactly two months. So they're one day away from being two months old. I'm going to show you these guys. Baby one shed out about three days ago and baby number two is deep in shed, but I'll show you both of them. So for those of you who are new to my channel or existing subscribers who've been watching my videos, Last year was the first year I've ever bred snakes. I bred a couple of pair of corn snakes. Um, a lot of the babies, the eggs were no good. And these were the only two that made it. The two good eggs, they hatched. And these came from pumpkin and cane. Pumpkin, I'll be showing you next as I'm breeding her again this year. And these were from two Amil Okatees, one which has lava in it which is a lava mill and these guys are beautiful their colors are going to increase a lot more within the next couple of months so we'll really see how they develop now that was baby number one and this is baby number two baby number two is deep deep in shed so i didn't take this one out there's really nothing to see totally in the blue right now but once she sheds or he sheds, I'll give you an update. And um, they're just amazing. And this year coming up, we're breeding a lot more. So I'm really, really excited. All right, guys, so the babies are looking beautiful. Gaining color with each shed. They're just gonna continue to look better and better. And they're not even two months old yet, a day away. And uh, I'm gonna be breeding pumpkin again. That's the mother to those two. And she's right here with me now. Beautiful Amil Okatee, reverse Okatee. I picked this girl up from Lee Abbott and she's a 2018 baby. The lighting is a little dim in here. The sun's starting to go down, the hour change, everything's getting dark earlier. We already don't have amazing lighting in here, but you can tell, look at that patterning. Beautiful white, bands around those borders the oranges are just nice and clean beautiful girl so we're gonna weigh her i'm thinking she's a little over 300 grams check out the belly she has some nice orange on the belly it's hard to see it on camera but uh let's see what she weighs so there it is 337 grams for pumpkin 337 grams for pumpkin looking nice and healthy so i'm gonna put her back in her bin and show you the next snake Ooh. all right so this is riddler this is a 2018 abitokati and I, I bred him to paprika last year, but I'm thinking I'm gonna breed him to pumpkin, the girl that I just showed you. So I don't know if he's het amel. If he is, we'll get a, myth, a mixed clutch. If he's not, then all the babies will look like regular Abbott's Okatees and they'll be het amel. Um, paprika, the girl that I bred him to last year, I think I'm gonna skip this year on breeding her. 
she didn't gain too much weight so I don't know if she's ready to breed again this year um, after she bred last year she didn't eat for about almost two months and then she started eating again so she lost some weight and then she started to gain it back but I don't think she's even 300 grams right now so I'm gonna let her go one more year try and get her up to about 400 grams by next year but um, let's weigh this guy he's a lot smaller than them beautiful markings check out that belly nice oranges and everything beautiful checkerboard belly let's see how much he weighs turn on the scale so there it is 242 grams and that's good for a male the males don't need to be as big as the females usually I want the females at least 300 grams so for a male 200 220 grams or better that's pretty good and make sure they're of breeding age which is at least two to three years old so this guy's gonna be four years old all right so that's about a good weight starting weight for a male I'm gonna put him back and show you the next snake come on Riddler Alright guys, so this is Edge, beautiful, beautiful 2019 male, clean, white, 60-40 Cal King, you know some people just like to call them 50-50s, but I think this one has more white on it than black, so I call it 60-40, and it was actually sold to, sold to, to me as a 60-40. Edge is getting a little frisky, so I'm going to weigh him real quick. He's probably around 230 grams, so let's see. So if you can see the scale, it says 266 grams. A nice solid 266 grams for this boy. So Edge is 266 grams, looking amazing. And I'm gonna get the female I'm gonna be pairing him with. I'm really excited about this pairing. Let me go get her. And here she is. Check her out. This is Xena, my female. Now, I just washed my hands because these are king snakes. You're supposed to wash your hands no matter what snakes you hold, but definitely with the king snakes, you don't want to get bit. So now, this girl's definitely a little bit chunkier than Edge. And look how clean those bands are on this girl just a beautiful clean clean 60 40 high white cow king so i want to see between these two edge and xena it's gonna be an amazing clutch so let's go weigh this girl i know she's over 300 grams for sure So Xena's at 356 grams. This girl was probably about 150 grams about six months ago. So she gained so much weight and she's got healthy, good healthy weight on her. She's not fat at all. So probably by the end of next year, she'll be almost 500 grams. Beautiful girl. So I can't wait to see what she um, produces. Let's put this girl back. I got a lot more snakes to show you. So I showed you Pumpkin and Riddler, they're gonna pair. I showed you Xena and Edge, beautiful pairing, high white Cali Kings. Now I'm gonna show you my next female high white Cali King. And this is actually Xena's sister. They're from the same clutch. This is Xena's sister. Beautiful. It looks kind of like a cow print. It has a little bit of black speckles on the side. Hard to see on camera. So now this girl, we're going to weigh her. And she's going to be breeding with Apollo. That's going to be an amazing pairing because he has that ink drop pattern. I'm going to show you him next. So there it is. 351 grams for this girl. So she's definitely ready. And let's, I'm gonna show you Apollo real quick. All right, so meet Apollo, ink drop pattern, K 
California king snake. Nice, nice clean whites. And you see why they call it the ink drop pattern. It's like little droplets of ink perfectly placed on the top and the sides are a little bit clean. This is my most desired look. Besides maybe a reverse stripe, which is pure white with a solid black stripe on top for the Cal Kings. I just love these ink drops. So he's gonna pair with the girl I just showed you. Now he's much smaller, but uh, that's okay. He's of age to breed. I just gotta watch them, make sure she doesn't try and eat them. But uh, you know, I gotta play referee. Let's weigh this guy. He probably weighs about 140 grams. Man, what a beautiful snake. Now this guy's 132 grams. So we're gonna put him back in the bin. Hopefully he produces some amazing babies for us. So next, check out this beautiful female T positive Nelson's milk snake. Now she's climbing on me. I'm gonna weigh her real quick. These don't like to be handled too much. At least the ones I have don't like to be handled too much, but she's beautiful. And um, if you look back, I got her in Daytona in 2019 at the Daytona Reptile Show, the Breeders Expo. So if you wanna go check out what I got in 2019 at the Breeders Expo, you'll see this girl in her deli cup. And she was probably around 30 grams. Um, obviously she got way bigger and she's gonna breed this year for the first time. So let's weigh her. I'm really anticipating this pairing because she's het splotched. So she's a T positive Nelson's head splotch milk snake, which means she could throw out all kinds of babies with crazy patterns. So I'm just excited to prove her out. So let's weigh her real quick. So now check this male out. This is the male T positive head splotch Nelson's milk snake. Now I think he could smell on me the female. I washed my hands, but you know, she was on my arms and everything. So he's kind of spazzing out a little bit, but check out that beautiful body weight he has, that nice pattern. I think he's a couple of grams less than the female, but look at the belly on this guy. Beautiful, nice belly. Let's weigh him. So 284 grams. So check out this female Tara Hamara Mountain King Snake, also known as Nablock Eyed. Beautiful high band count on this girl. And we did try and breed her with Mojave last year. And Mojave got a respiratory infection in the cooler. It was a little bit too humid for him. These don't like too, too much humidity. So there's a couple of things I'm gonna do differently this year while they're in brumation. Hopefully it works and we get some amazing babies because these are just amazing. One of my favorite king snakes, super calm. They're almost like corn snakes. They never bite, they love to eat. Just a beautiful snake. So I just put Sahara back. Mojave, I just checked on him. He's shedding, so I'm not gonna take him out. So there's a couple of other snakes that I'm gonna be breeding this year and you're gonna see when I do my next video showing you all the snakes going into brumation, you're gonna see everybody. Um, I have my head palmettos, Hansel and Gretel. We bred them last year with no luck. They did have eggs, but none of them were good eggs. So hopefully this year they do well. And I'm gonna be at the Tampa Repticon this weekend. So if you guys are in the area, hopefully you guys come out. It's gonna be a pretty good show. And I think this is gonna be a large venue. So I'm excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I got a lot of videos that are going to be coming up. So just keep watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be safe.